Hello everyone, I am Puya from UC Irvine and today I'm gonna to talk about combining features and instance attribution to detect artifacts. This is a joint work by me, my advisor Sami Singh and also Sartak Jain and Byron Wallace from Northeastern University. So what is an artifact? Artifact is a serious correlation between features in the input and the labels which model exploit to make his prediction. Example of artifacts in NLP benchmarks are Lexical overlap in NLI tasks, which model exploit to mispredict instances as entailment, ratings in IMDb reviews, and also African-American dialects in toxic detection over tweets. As you can see, there are not many known artifacts in current NLP benchmark. And the reason is identifying this artifact is very expensive and a hard manual level. So the whole goal behind this project is somehow make this process easier. The solution that we find for this task was using different attribution methods. We know attribution methods highlight important patterns in the data. The question is, can we somehow aggregate these patterns to surface artifacts? So getting model prediction for a specific target sample, we first explain this prediction using different attribution methods. And then providing this uh, explanation to a user, our goal is to being able to detect artifacts. But before jumping to actual artifact discovery, we first need to address some of the shortcoming of existing feature and instance attribution method. We know a feature attribution explanation is limited to the features that is available in the target data. Consider this scenario where uh, your model is essentially a, a rating detector over IMDb reviews. So whenever we have a rating model, will predict the instance to be positive. And as soon as we don't see any rating in the reviews, uh, model will mispredict it as negative. So here, if you apply future attribution, for example, uh, silency map on top of this last instance, there is no way you can figure out what is wrong with the model. And also instance attribution, explain model prediction by extracting an instance from train data, which most of the time is very lengthy. So providing this uh, instance to a user and expecting the user to detect artifact is not very feasible. So somehow we want to combine these two different attribution methods and highlight, for example, the rating here as a source of uh, model misbehavior. As a result, we introduce training feature attribution. The goal here is to explain model prediction by extracting important features from training instances. We do that by combining different feature and instance attribution methods. For example, here on this uh, sentiment analysis task, if we provide this uh, sample to the, to the model and using training feature attribution, the goal is to highlight most positively and negatively influential features from different training instances, as we can see here. Now that we have a different attribution method available for us, we provide our guideline for artifact detection. We start from a specific validation set and upon getting model prediction for instances in this set, we explain this prediction using different attribution method. Then aggregating these explanation using uh, based on frequency, we provide the result to a user and detect or discover artifact. To evaluate our guideline for artifact discovery, we consider several case studies. We start with IMDb reviews and show that feature attribution and training feature attribution is effective in identifying rating as artifact here. We then look into Hulse benchmark and here uh, show that this time instance attribution and training feature attribution are effective in uh, detecting lexical overlap as a kind of artifact that model rely on over this benchmark. So if our conjecture is true and we can use attribution method in discovering artifacts, we should be able to apply them in wild on random benchmark and discover novel and new artifacts. And this is exactly what we did next. We first look into uh, toxicity detection over tweets and discover that model rely on punctuation mark and a specific token such as U and at sign to make a prediction. We use feature attribution and training feature attribution to uh, make the discoveries. We then look into bull queue task, which is the task of giving a passage from Wikipedia and a question. The goal is to figuring out if the answer to question is true or false. And in this benchmark, we discovered that model rely on query structure to make his prediction. We use instance attribution and training feature attribution to discover uh, these artifacts. 
More details about these case studies and several uh, other evaluation is provided in the paper. So if you are interested, I invite you guys to uh, take a look into the paper. Here you can see uh, the source code of our experiment and also my contact information. Thank you very much for your time.